So the more and more sources I add to Llama, the better for making it easier for people to get data into the system. So the most recent source or sources, because there's two of them, and they're going to do the same thing. Well, actually, one I showed previously was the webhook. Let's look at the more simple form of a feed. It's a more common situation. And uh, in this case, take a feed from my site. Uh, it's a, um, uh, a st stematic, statomic site. And I will talk more about statomic because I also, there's also, I'll show how it can work with the webhook as well, which is nice. Um, there's going to be a few options here. So basically, uh, it's just a regular feed like any site. Um, so, And when it pulls in the data, I want to do something with that data. So I'm going to add a prompt here to help it know what to do with that data. Um, this particular prompt in this particular step is still a work in progress, but the goal is to how do I make it so that you can prompt and you can do things. And so as you use the system, um, just keep that in mind. It's really going to empower you to prompt. In this case, I'm just going to use my feed, uh, which is this, for slash feed. And we could test it, and it pulls up a few of them. Um, <clears throat> and now I wanted to do this um, daily, we'll say. And it won't repeat the items. We're going to prove that in a moment. Uh, what it's going to do is just find them and see if they're the same. Um, so, okay, uh, so we've had our source. We have it in place. And, of course, we don't want to wait a day for it to run. We're just going to run it right now. Uh, and that's it. So now it's going to go reach out to that particular feed and start getting the data. You'll see I have a feed widget or whatever extension. Uh, let's see. And you'll see it's just grabbing these here, as you saw in the little test area. Um, and that's it. It's going to do exactly what it does when it does a web search. Um, it's going to go get those particular sites and pull them in. And it will go over all eight of them, I think, in this case. Um, now, in the next video, I'm going to show uh, how to get feeds, um, how to get data from a website using webhooks, or, yeah, basically. And I'll show how you can put a quick, you know, webhook into your, uh, a client into your CMS, in this case, st Statomic, but it could be anything, and how it can hit the webhook we'll make here um, to show how you can reach to the system with a webhook.